What's up, y'all? This is Jay Watts, Uber Jeep AZ. Another weekend down, 100% lift, no lux, which is kind of funny because I was chasing nothing but challenges all week. So I hit the challenges they had for the Monday through Thursday, then I hit the challenge they had over the weekend. Now, the only way I could hit that challenge was by taking short rides because it was a lot of rides. I think it was like 70 rides, maybe. It was up there pretty high. I ended up doing like 111 rides for the whole week, you'll see in the video. But the tricky thing, is that these idiots, they've not been giving me Lux. Y'all been watching my videos for like weeks now, like at least two weeks, and they've not given me a single Lux ride. You've seen me run Lux. I'm driving around on Lux. Lux is running for an hour. Lux is running in the background. Never sent me any Lux. As soon as I get 10 rides away from this challenge, guess what? I started getting Lux rides again. Yep. And each Lux ride I got was 20 miles. It was like, you know, seven miles to get to somebody, 14, 15 miles at the highway for a total of 21 miles. But they were paying me like $20. Then they would give me something, you know, eight, nine miles away for a 22 mile ride, 31 miles total, for $34. This is what they were doing. I don't even get Lux rides, but they saw how close I was getting to hitting this $185 challenge to get these rides out the way. And they were like, we need to slow them down. What can we do to slow them down? Throw on some Lux rides. I kicked each and every one of them fucking things out. I ain't do no Lux. I saw them coming in. I was like, I'm doing better per mile and per minute on lift. So why y'all going to try to throw me some Lux? After two weeks of me not getting Lux, now you're going to throw me Lux rides when I'm close to getting this challenge bonus. They see that $185 on the table. They were like, we got to stop them from getting this money. Oh, I got that money. Like I said, I got the one for the week. Then I turn around, I got the one for the weekend. So I got only 185 over the weekend. I can't remember what it was for the week. It was probably about $75, $80 for the week, $55 maybe for the week. I don't even remember. But I got damn near close to $300 in challenge money all week. That's not counting all the streak money, all the surge money. I was getting money on top of money, strictly doing short rides. And I still did it with part-time hours. I didn't have to go full-time hours to get this money. You will see in this video. Okay, so I finally made it home. Got 313 miles left. Not even what I'm still above three quarters of a tank. It's at 2:24 in the morning. I filled up Friday, drove half a tank on Friday, drove half a tank on Saturday. Woke up this morning. I had like 80 miles left. So I filled up today, filled all the way up today, and that's all I've drove so far. So I basically use one tank of gas all weekend. That's it, about one full tank of gas all weekend. A full tank of gas cost me around about $65. I'll show y'all that all of these trips are actual lift trips. Let me open up my activity. It's so like I said, and I'm gonna start from the top and go down. You could slow it down if you want to, put it on half speed, but you'll see everything I did was lift. Like I said, you won't see any lux in here. Because I wanted to prove that you could do lift and still make good money. That's that ride challenge I hit right there. You can do lift and still make pretty good money. Now, a lot of people, including myself, always thought that lift didn't pay well enough. Well, lift pays well enough if you do stuff like this. You know, you get a lift trip, a really short trip, and then you get a tip. You get a short trip and a tip. It pays well, but you got to do it like that. You can't do these long trips on Lyft and still make good money. Long trips are for Lux, basically. But we know that Lux is kind of using Lyft. You know, Lux is, they're, they're actually making these Lux trips look more like UberX trips sometimes. Because I'm like, man, these Lux trips, they're paying like goddamn dollar ten a mile dollar a mile and that's total from pick up to drop off so you can go through and see the all these these ain't nothing but just lift trips that's it streak bonuses like crazy streak bonuses like crazy all these are lift trips not a single lux in here because i didn't want to cheat the system and try to tell people oh yeah i did all lift i did all lift then you see about five six seven lux trips tucked in there you're like wait a minute man you was doing lux to pump your numbers I, nope, this is it. This is it right here. I told y'all, y'all can look at all this y'all want to. I was trying to, y'all even saw me trying to run Lux. I had Lux turned on. I was going on turning Lux off. And they wasn't giving me nothing. 
That's everything right there. Not a single Lux trip at all. And y'all saw me running Lux, and they would not give me a Lux ride for nothing. I was trying to get Lux rides. They wasn't giving me nothing. First ride of the night of the whole weekend. So I picked this lady up. It was like $8 for like six miles. Had a $2 surge with it and everything. She gave me a $10 tip. I was like, what? It was $6 for like five, six miles. It was like a mile away. It's right by my house. And I'm like, what, 18 bucks? She gave me a $10 tip. Okay, I decided to come downtown. And that's where I'm right now. I just had a real quick hop, real quick. I was sitting down there, I used that little quick bonus. You know, it was like a mile. So I, as soon as I pulled into downtown, somebody was needing a ride right on uh, Washington. So I picked them up on Washington, dropped them off down here. Now I'm in the heart of downtown now. So it's not too far of a ride. You know, it was like two miles and I was headed this way anyway. So I just grabbed them on my way here. So that was cool. I'd use that little two, but I had that bonus on there, 225 on there. So not too bad, not too bad. You know, $23 and I've went maybe, let me see, there's about two miles. And that was about seven miles. So seven miles, $23. So I'm getting about $3 and $3 a mile right now. So I'm at $3 a mile pretty much. Not bad, not bad. I could do better though. Like I said, I'm in the heart of downtown. It ain't no surge down here. And I'm like, come on, man, throw me something. I'm going to have to go offline, get up to this gas station up here and go offline so I can see if I can generate a surge because there's a Lyft driver behind me. So I know it's, it's probably, you know, they got a couple of cars in the area. Then they're going to throw us a surge unless all of us get offline. So I'm, I'm not, I don't have anything going right now, so I'm going to go offline. So I just jumped offline. You know, let's see if they, my experience was great because I'm doing okay. Yeah, so let's see if, if they throw me something. Throw me a, a $2 surge, something, man. Give me something. Circle K is right here, so I'm going to stop at this Circle K. Oh, yeah, here we go. Hold up for a second. Wow. There we go. Now we going. Let's, let's hit the gas station real quick. So I'm gonna sit over here and chill till they throw a surge up. Cause like I said, I don't. This car don't move unless it's money. Don't nothing move but the money. That's that Eric B and Rakim. I grew up on that shit. Don't nothing move if the money. If it ain't money, it ain't moving. Shit, we we staying parked. We hanging out. So here we go. Turn the car up. Let's sit and wait for a surge to pop up. Still sitting here chilling right now. I was looking around the map to see where a surge was. They got 250 up there, two dollars. I'm way down here though. So what I did is I went through while I was sitting here chilling, and I turned Lux on. Like I said, that's my pause button. With Lux, it kind of shows me a little more activity of what's going on around the city. Like I said, they're not giving me a surge right now, so I'm not on Lyft. Cause like I said, Lyft rides, nah, they not. They're not really worth it unless you got something in connection with it. Like I said, I got two out of 50 rides right now. I'm just sitting here scouting, seeing what's going on. Uh, you got 12 drivers sitting at the airport. I guarantee if I go online right now, they're gonna probably try to have me go to the airport, pick up somebody, because people at the airport ain't taking nothing. There's no surge at the airport because there's way too many people sitting there. And at eight o'clock, they got tons of passengers coming out. Yeah, 97 flights are coming up tonight. Shh. Yeah, definitely. Lux. That's what they got. Five Lux drivers sitting down there right now. Then on this side, they got seven Lux drivers sitting there right now. Like I said, they'll try to send me down there if I if I put on lift. Like I said, that's too far for me because I mean it'll come out to be like a dollar a mile, which I'm better just sitting down here trying to make two, three dollars a mile. Uh, let's see something real quick. I'm gonna go back to vehicles. Now watch when I turn this on, they probably give me some some bullshit. Cause they usually do that. As soon as you go online, they send you like some crazy shit, like eleven dollars for like twenty fucking miles, weird shit like that. And so on Lyft, you got sixteen drivers sitting down there. There's eleven sitting at that lot, and then you've got another six sitting at that lot. Oh, you can actually go over and see now. Hey, hey, hey. Lyft got six. Lux got seven. And there you go. Ten and five. Fifteen. Yeah. 
So you got like 28 drivers just sitting down there with the apps on. You got 28 drivers sitting in the airport with the apps on, you're not getting a surge because they, they have enough for the demand. There's probably only a few people trying to request rides right now. So once the, the rides really hit, that's when the surge is gonna hit. But if you already got that many drivers sitting down there, shit, they're like, why add a surge? We got people there, supply and demand. We got people, let's not add a surge. Like I said, it's Friday night right now. So, yeah. Eight o'clock, it's pretty slow. And there's a little small, like, some kind of festival going on downtown down here. So it might not pick up to about 10, 30, 11 o'clock with rides. It's like people down here, people are arriving down here, not really, you know, leaving down here right now. So my best bet is to get me a ride out of here to somewhere. And like I said, even in Scottsdale, look at that. There ain't no surge up there on a Friday night. No surge in Scottsdale. That's crazy. That's crazy to me. Just no surge at all up there. And it's, like I said, it's Friday night, man. It's slow as hell. Slow as hell. I was sitting here and an Uber Eats order came through to Bahama Bucks, like right around the corner from me. So I'm gonna go over here and pick this up. It's like seven bucks, $7.60 for like four miles. I didn't even know, you know, Uber Eats was still working for me. I guess I'm gonna go, I was sitting at the quick trip just chilling and everybody's moving slow. So I'm gonna go pick this food up. Let's see, you know, like I said, $7.60, four miles, ah, whatever. I ain't doing shit else but sitting at the gas station. Let's go get this food. Let's go get this food real quick from Bahama Bucks. I ain't even heard of this place before. Hey, Bahama Bucks is apparently like a frozen custard place or a whatever. So I get there, it's a long line at the drive-thru. I'm like, holy crap. So I park the car, walk to the front door, and it's open. So I'm like, cool, no problem. So I open the door, walk in, they already had it ready already. That was like a whole two seconds, man. I swear, this is, Uber Eats is gonna be pretty quick tonight, I can see already. So I'm gonna go drop this off of Francisca. Like I said, I was about a mile away, two miles, four miles, seven bucks, and literally no time. Let's do this. So that was pretty quick right there. So that was 224, and then the actual tip and everything they're gonna put on there would be around about, well, let's see, probably five bucks. Oh yeah, so 760. So they're gonna put about five, what, 26 on there. So about 526 is what they're gonna add to that to make that 760. Let's see what happens. Yeah, 536 rather, 536. Hopefully they don't tip bait me, because if they do, woo, they gonna be in for it, because I'm a three star them. Like I said, I'll two star, three star, nine tippers real quick. Right now they got a, a five star so far, but don't forget, you can go to the help menu and go back and, and like star somebody. So yeah, I don't know if the stars really make a difference on Uber Eats, but I'm willing to try, I'm willing to try. I don't have lift running right now, let me see something. Let's go inside a lift and see what's going on in lift. They probably ain't got no surge or nothing going on anywhere. Man, it's trap. I mean, it's like 9.30 at night and it's like more traffic like it's middle of the day. And there goes somebody riding with no damn headlights and no tail lights on. Oh, it's a surge way up there. Yeah. Yeah, it, this is one of the weirdest Friday nights ever. Like there's no surge anywhere. Six drivers. You know, 10 drivers, 16 drivers on Lyft. And on Lux, you probably got about 11, 11 or 12. That was six there, nine there, holy crap. So you got 15 Lux drivers at the airport and 17 Lyft drivers at the airport. That's crazy. And this airport way over here, in the middle of nowhere, they ain't got nobody sitting over there, I bet. Two drivers. <laughs> two drivers sitting over there no lux drivers at all yeah i'm definitely not going over there but yeah i'm gonna pull into this gas station right here and relax for a second like i said just drop that food off i'm gonna pull into this gas station hang out for a quick minute i'll probably sit around and wait to see who's gonna pop up with surge somewhere because like i said if it ain't no surge and it ain't shit i ain't driving i done did two rides out of 50 so far i'm not worried about that shit 
like I said, I can do that the rest of those rides in, in a day or two. So it's only Friday. So maybe Saturday, Sunday is gonna be the day I'll do those rides. But if it ain't if it ain't jumping right now, I don't even stress. 880, where am I going, Tempe? Damn. It's 11 miles. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. And that one's going way up in Phoenix. That's yeah, not doing that one either. Because if some of these trips is not worth my time. Not worth my time. I would love to take that trip to Tempe. That was a cool trip. I would love to take it to Tempe, but I don't know. That one's headed down to Chandler two miles away. No, I'm not going further south than what I am right now because it ain't shit down there. And that's clear down by the 202. Like I said, that, that's way down by the damn 202 and I'm not doing that shit. New, new, new. 10 bucks for that, Scottsdale. Nope, not going to Scottsdale tonight. Nope. Not doing Scottsdale. I would love to get some of this surge somewhere. That's a three dollar surge. Yeah. Oh, that's south too. Now, by the time I get down there, it ain't gonna be shit. So I ain't even tripping off that. Cause that's what they do. They'll put a surge somewhere. You get down there and it's like nothing. Cause where I am, they can put a surge where I am. Seem like all the rides are originating where I am. So why don't you give me a surge where I am? Instead, they put in a surge south and say, hey, take this ride south and you can get a surge. Yeah, as soon as you get down there, it ain't no surge. Cause that's gonna be about 15, 20 minutes. And by the time you get there, ain't shit. Oh, the surge ended, man. Sorry about that. Yeah, put one where I am. Don't screw with me. Like I said, there's that's that other airport for uh, Uber is sitting over there. Is it busy? Yeah, let's turn on Uber Eats. Let's see if Uber Eats gonna throw something down the pipe. Cause that, that ride wasn't too bad. I took that 760 for the four miles. That was cool. Like I said, that, that wasn't too far. You no, know, it took me 14 minutes, 2.9 miles. And I was like, you know, a mile and a half away, so about four miles for 760. It wasn't too bad. But I'm not doing this goddamn 10 miles. I mean, $10 for like 13, 14. Nah, oh, forget all that. Forget all that. It's like, that's, that's just not, not my style of driving. Let's see what Lyft got going on. Let's open up Lyft. Oh, they got any surge anywhere? Nope, Lyft is blank. And with no surge, I'm off. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna turn it on Lux. Cause if they ain't got no surge, I could just like run Lux in the background and see if they happen to give me something one day. I don't know. But I don't care, I'll just go online with that shit. They ain't gonna send me nothing, but I'll just keep it running. That should've had me like 12 online hours, zero rides. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Lux. This shit, they'll have me online for 12 hours and won't give me a single Lux ride. They'll be like, man, you was online for 12 hours? Shit, I took a shower, went to sleep, woke up, still no ride. Fucking walked the dogs, came back, gave them snacks and shit, still no ride. Went to a motherfucking funeral, went to the wake, ate some spaghetti and shit, came back, still no ride. That's how it be on fucking Lux. Lux, them motherfuckers will drag you out for a week. Man, this motherfucker went to a graduation commemoration. He went to a motherfucking a boat christening. Motherfucker went everywhere. Came back, still no ride. Phone on for 48 hours straight. No Lux ride. Then motherfucker turn the phone off. Blink, you get a ping. Fucking two miles, $3.58. <laughs> Shit, I'll take that. Let's do that. Oh, you know what that is? I bet that's fucking Walmart. I guarantee that's a motherfucking Walmart. Who thank you. Because that shit's at Country Club and Baseline. That corner is a Walmart. Plus, it's a half mile away. So, somebody going to an apartment complex. They taking groceries. Country Club and Baseline, there's a Walmart sitting on that corner. So, and half mile, they're just going to their apartment. Thank you, other driver. Shit. But sometimes, man, the motherfuckers live in the middle of the apartment complex. And you got to either, like I said, they be saying put all that shit on the ground but you put all that shit on the ground somebody come out and snatch that shit you taking their fucking potatoes and everything motherfucker get in the house mad as hell You're like that driver left all my food on the curb like shit for three dollars i got shit to do but like i said i don't i don't know the walmart runs yeah they're, they're like 50 50 because i've had some good ones where the people are easy and they like 
you know, like last week, the dude had two huge bags with all of his little bags in those bags. So he was used to doing ride share. You could tell that dude was like, man, I'm efficient with this shit. But some people, them motherfuckers act like the car is yours. They will have like 8,000 bags in your trunk. They be holding milk jugs and shit. And by the time you get to the house, you're like, man, I got to fucking help you carry all this shit to the middle of the apartments upstairs. Don't let the dog out. Motherfuckers like keep your foot on the door so the dog don't run out as you're doing all the groceries and shit. It gets crazy, crazy. I'm like, fuck that. When I see Walmart, I get the hives. I'm like, fuck that shit. But yeah, they got a surge sitting way over here. Was that by South Mountain, 7th uh, Ave and Southern? Yeah, that ain't shit. It's not worth driving over there. It's 9:30. 10 bucks, 14 miles, Chandler. Nope. Not going down there for sure. Is it, is that, to me, I just, I don't know. I don't like going south because once you start getting on the outskirts of town and shit, man, you don't get nothing. Every ride be like eight miles away, six miles away, and they don't compensate you for that shit. Six miles away. Look at that. Four, man, hell no. Hell no. $14 for that? No, I'm cool on that shit. 32 minutes of driving? Cool on that shit. Like I said, I'm just relaxing at the gas station. Push come to shove, my gym is around the corner, so I could always fucking call it a night early since I know Friday is slow as shit. Call it a night, just go fucking work out something. I don't know. I need to get back in the gym any damn ways. But this shit, 15 bucks for that? No, hell, 99th Street? Man, you know what the fuck that is? That's way, so you got to go all the way over to Tempe to pick somebody up to backtrack. To go all, you got to go west, backtrack, and go east. That's 25 damn miles for 15 bucks. Man, they be tripping. UberX is on one. Like I said, you give me a trip for under 10 minutes, I'll take it. All this other shit? No, I'm cool on that. You can have that. Anybody could take that shit. It's 15 bucks? Nope. Close out of that shit. I don't even want to see that number. Yeah, I done had Lux running. Still no surge. You got a surge way up there. I'm like, man, ain't nobody going way up there. Four bucks for that. Nope. Fuck it, let's take it. Might as well. Fuck it, I'll take it. Emily, God damn it, I hope you're not at a, a grocery store or nothing like that. Like I said, I ain't doing shit else. Let's go ahead and go pick up Emily. See what the fuck's going on. Let's drop Emily off, and this lady was a half mile away around the corner. Rosemary, half mile, and she's actually headed to Tempe. So I'm gonna get a $10 ride, like 1054 to Tempe, and that's where I was trying to get to anyway. So I just linked two rides together. I'm gonna get about 15, 20 bucks out of the deal just to get to Tempe, which was way better than like the five, nine dollars he was trying to offer me to go to Tempe. So I ended up getting like what $15 to go to Tempe. So that's how I do it. I link all these rides together and hopefully they make more money than one ride. I'll link two or three together. So I'm getting more per mile. Plus I'm gonna get more money on at the back end. So let's see how we do this. This is a pretty easy ride. Just dropped Rosemary off. And you got all these cars sitting back here for whatever reason. Yeah, so I just dropped her off. That was that quick ride for 1043 last trip. You know, it only took me 20 minutes. It was like 12 miles, but I'm right where I want to be. I'm in Tempe. So I'm going to park over here real quick, and I'm going to turn on lift and see if I can bang out a whole bunch of short rides all night. Because this is where I wanted to be anyway, so now I'm finally here, so it's time to make money while I'm here. Let's see something. Let's turn off Uber. I don't want Uber on no more. Uber, you did your job. Thanks for getting me here. Oh, that was my dog. I was showing her my dog, Bear. That dude's crazy as hell. But she's got a dog. And I was like, I got a crazy dog, too. That's Bear right there. He's nuts. All right, let's see. Ooh, and I'm in the surge, too. Oh, y'all done fucked up. Oh, I'm right above the surge. Of course they're going to do that kind of shit to me. Well, let's see if I can drive a little bit south so I can pick up this surge. Hopefully they don't give me a ride before. Because I would hate to cancel that motherfucker before I start it. And of course, everybody's coming down the wrong damn street when I chose to pull out. 50 fucking cars coming and this is a one way. And I'm like, come on. And they're all coming down and says, do not enter. It always happens around ASU though. These kids don't know what the fuck they doing. They have no idea. All right, now I'm in the bonus zone. Cool, cool, cool. 
So now I'm in the bonus. Let me go sit and park over here real quick. Because once I'm in the bonus, I ain't got to drive nowhere. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I'm going to turn in this little parking lot right here. Bit. All right. Let's see if I can make some money in Tempe. I know King James, he was hitting me up earlier. I think he's in Tempe right now. But, yeah, I'm going to park my butt right here. Skirt. Here we go. Hopefully they give me a good ride because I think I'm right on the outskirts of that surge. So if they don't give me a good ride, I'm going to lose the surge and have to move down south a little bit to pick it back up. But yeah, this is where I wanted to be all night. So I got that $23 plus I got the other money. Let me open this real quick. $16 because I got those two rides. The delivery is still there. They better give me that money. They better give me that damn money. God damn it. Yeah, they probably hasn't tipped me yet. Yep, still saying they got to tip me. So it's still there an hour after delivery. I did it at 9.05. I delivered by Lord knows what time. But it's 10.17. So why don't I have my money yet? Yeah, I don't know. We'll just hold off on that. We'll see. But those are the only three rods I did over there. So once I get that $5, so that'll go from 16 up to about 21, 21 up to about, so about $45 I've made for the night so far. And I don't have a bonus, whatever. If I decline the next ride, I don't get a bonus. Cool with me. Let me go make sure I'm not on Lux. Oh, let's see something. Yep, I'm on Lux. Like I said, they don't give me no Lux. Lux is like my pause button. I could be on Lux all damn day. I ain't getting no ride. So let's see if they give me some under 10 minutes. Please make it under 10 minutes because I swear I'm going to hate to decline the next ride. And don't give me nothing downtown because downtown has nothing. Airport, 14 and 8. Let me see. So you got 14 left, 9 Lux in that lot. So that's about 23 drives in that lot. And then over here, you got 9 and 6, 15. So you got damn near 40 drivers online right now sitting up in the lot. And here I am sitting, I'm kind of close to the airport. Hopefully they do not give me an airport ride because I swear if that shit says Terminal 3 or something like that, I'm going to be, oh, now I'm in the surge pretty good. So I ain't got shit to worry about now. So I can decline a couple in a row. As long as I'm sitting in the surge, I can scout pretty good because I can decline, decline, and trap that surge or whatever I want to do and everything should be fine. So, what do we got going right here? Let me go back in here real quick. Yeah, that's pissing me off, man. They gotta give me my money, man. That 224 gotta jump up. It's gotta jump up. So, I don't know. I'm right where I want to be, but don't look like the rides are hitting. Something's going on. Like I said, it's, it's a pretty slow night. I was bringing her actually to a concert. There's a concert going on over there. So hopefully by about, I don't know, two, three in the morning. Cause usually this place is jumping. Two, three in the morning, if they shut everything down, oh shit, I'm gonna be making some money over here. Hopefully if it's all short trips, no long trips like the one I just did. Hopefully just a bunch of short trips. But yeah, let's see. I ain't getting no requests at all. I was just sitting here and I made a mistake and accepted a ride downtown to Phoenix. That ride, yeah, let's do that. That's not too bad. I could do that ride right there. So we're only like 0.3 of a mile away. What happened? Oh man, they didn't give me that ride, those motherfuckers. They didn't give me that. It was right around the corner on top of that. Man, that was a good ride. Well, it wasn't a fucking, you know, amazing ride, but it was better than going downtown. They got $3 sitting right down there. I'm close enough. I ain't gonna go chase no 50 cent. I'm like, I'm at $2.50, three bucks. If it was like $9, yeah, then I'd drive down there and pick up that extra, you know, $5.50. But for this shit, nah, I'm cool. I'm sitting right where I'm sitting. I'll end up finding a ride. Let's see, I got Instagram going. That's my buddy right there. 
he's from St. Louis, but he lives out here in Arizona now. And it's funny how I met this guy. So check this shit out. Back in 2000 and like, I don't know, 15, 14, 15. I actually made some shirts for that dude. Some gym shirts for him. Hell yeah, I'll take that. Shit, let's do it. Let's go get Liam from up the street. Shit, seven bucks for this. That's the kind of shit I'm talking about. That, cause like I said, they just tried to give me a ride to downtown Phoenix. It was like 10 miles for like 10 bucks. And I was like, man, that kind of sucks because I don't want to do that kind of ride. I want a, a better ride. So this one just popped up. Hey, seven bucks. Shit, like three miles total. I do this all day. Yeah, I've been banging out a few rides here and there. Uh, just dropped Dell off. I've had nothing but a bunch of like little quick hops and everything's got bonuses on and stuff like this. This was a real quick. I just picked a lady up and took her right down the street. Like I said, I was sitting right next to her when she hit. So I was like, okay, a dollar a mile, that's fine. But a lot of real short rides right now. Like I said, it took me a while to get going, but now that I'm going, you know, it seems pretty sweet. I'm headed back over towards uh, ASU. I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna put Lux back on so somebody don't so they don't hit me up so i'm trying to keep them from giving me a ride until i got a bonus so they have yeah there we go we got the surge up there so i'm about to head north a little bit snag some of this surge that way i can start getting my rides going and the cool thing is i just picked up a couple of people like i said the one ride that was four bucks they were so cool you know guys from new york we talked bikes and everything else the whole time a lot of these people are, are realizing that the apps are, are screwing with the driver tips. And he was like, man, I know I heard a lot about how drivers ain't getting tips and this and that, so I'm going to take care of you, brother. So he slid me some cash, you know, way more than what I expected. I really appreciate that shit. Here we go, $2 bonus. All right, let's see if we can do it. So like I said, these guys out here, they're taking care of drivers, you know, outside of the app, and I appreciate that because that shit really helps. Cause we ain't making a whole lot with these damn apps right now because you know lux ain't running i think juan is out there with lux i think steve has lux or somebody's got lux out there but for me nah i'm looking for two three dollars a mile like i said i just did a four dollar ride for four i did a four mile ride for four dollars then the dude slid me a ten dollar bill so i was like that's what i'm talking about man these little short rides People appreciate it because they keep getting declined all the time. Then they see a sweet ass Beamer pull up. They be like, that's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Now, hopefully the girls I picked up, you know, I was right around the corner from their house. These girls here, hopefully they shoot me a tip because I picked them up and dropped them off. Then let me see. I did this one for 349. That one was right around the corner. They went to a club. So I picked them up, dropped them off at the club. And I was on like a half a mile away from them because like I said, I'm in Tempe. So I'm picking up people in Tempe to drop them off in Tempe. A bunch of real quick, small hops. So I'm getting around two, three dollars a mile for everything I touch. And that's basically how it's going. You know, people might slide me some cash. People might, you know, tip me on the app. I only got one app tip, which is where way down here somewhere. Oh, that was that ten dollars I got earlier. Yeah, that was that that ten dollars I got earlier. But as you can see, that was at seven forty. Then I got offline, got back on the eight forty two, got offline for almost two hours. Like I said, I'm just, sometimes I just, you know, I can't be online because if, if people ain't, ain't out here paying money, I'm not sitting online. I'm not doing that to myself. So I get offline for two hours at a time and shit. I was doing a little Uber, driving around, doing some Uber rides. Like I said, made a couple of bucks with them, but let, let's see if we can use this, this lift bonus right here. Where am I at? All right. Let's go straight. We're gonna go straight. I was gonna turn to go back towards the the little party district, but I'm gonna go straight up a little bit. And that's where some money's over in Mason. Where we at? Oh. Nope, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. They give me eight bucks for that. I'm like, I'd rather not. So I'm gonna go back on Lux real quick. Cause they took my bonus away. So I'm gonna go back on Lux. Like I said, that's my pause button right there. Wait till they throw up another surge, then I'll be ready to roll. So like I said, I'm not I'm not doing no bullshit rides. I'm not. And it's cool, but it, like I said, these little short rides, I'm getting two, three dollars a mile on. So I'm not doing no 10 mile ride for 10 bucks. I'd rather just do a two, three mile ride and get like four or five dollars. Cause 
I can go, if I can get four or five dollars out of, out of three miles, that means I'm getting fifteen dollars for ten miles. I can get fifteen dollars for ten miles, then if you add a little tip in there, that means I'm getting twenty twenty-five for ten miles, or Lyft is just giving me a straight ten mile ride for ten dollars. So unless the dude is going to tip me $15, I'm losing money with those type of rides. And ain't nobody trying to tip me no $15 right now. Ooh, let's turn right here. Skirt. There we go. All right, let me go up in this parking lot and chill right here. All right. Yeah, but no, nah, Lyft ain't, ain't nobody tipping, you know. Like the dude just handed me, you know, 10 bucks, but that was on a short ride. That was on a $4 ride. Dude gave me, you know, 10 bucks on a $10 ride. Lyft probably is charging people too much money, so they ain't they ain't quick to slide you money like that. So I'd rather do these little short four or five dollar rides. People give you ten dollar tips, ten dollar tips, five dollar tips, because the rides are so short they can afford the tip. The longer the ride, the less they can afford the tip. That's what I'm starting to realize. So you know, no disrespect to the dude who just tried to get a ride or whatever, but I'm not doing you know a dollar a mile when I'm in a good area where I'm getting three dollars a mile. I'd rather just sit back and chill with that shit. And right now they're not giving me no surge, so I'm gonna go offline for a minute. I'll wait to come back online later. I've only done six out of 50 rides, so 44 more rides to go, and I got three days to do this. 44 rides in three days, I could do 32 in one day. So that's that's nothing. I just gotta take a bunch of like small rides. So that's what I'm waiting on right now. A bunch of little small hops and everything like that. I still got a full tank of gas. Shit, I ain't doing nothing. I'm like a tick below full right now after driving all this time so it's pretty cool so when i go back online i'll be running that as soon as they throw me a surge in there so in the meantime let's see what i can do uh let's see if uber has something going on okay on uber i got 28 dollars hey that's what's up. I got a five dollar tip on that one. Thank you. I appreciate it. That one got a tip. So that right there was what? Seven sixty. They end up giving me eight sixty six for four miles. That was that Bahama Bucks. Four miles, eight sixty six, two dollars a mile. Like I said, and I was only about a mile away from that. Then on this one here, this nine thirty one, I was right next to the lady. So that was about you know three and a half miles. So at nine thirty one. So there you go, another three mile, three dollars a mile ride right there. Then up here, the ten dollar one, still ain't got a tip on that shit yet. And that was, you know, not even a dollar a mile. So the short ones, the shorter the rides are, the better it is. Like I said, two and a half miles, bam, nine dollars. The shorter the rides are for me, the better it works out because I got a really nice car. And people with really short rides, they have enough money to throw a tip out there. These long ass rides ain't nobody tipping, so I'm not even stressing these long rides. So there you go. I got three rides. Hold up, let me go back in here real quick. So that was, let's say, 12 miles. Let's say 13 miles. Let's add 13 plus last three makes that 15, uh, 16. 16 plus about another three or four. That's about 20. And I've made $28. All right. So I've went like 20 miles, made about $28. Not bad, not bad. This is the one that killed me right there, this 12 mile one. Cause if I could have got $3 a mile with that, that would have been like $36. Cause I mean, here we go, two and a half miles, $9. You know, another 2.9 for $8. So these are killing, these are killing on the miles right there. Those are killing on the miles. Then that just tanks it. That ain't even a dollar a mile. Like I said, the longer the trip, the screwier it gets. Hate that. Keep my dollars per mile up by rejecting all this crazy stuff. I don't I kick all that shit out. Hold up for a second. Hey, and I got a $3 tip just there. Thank you. I appreciate that, brother. Look at him. Look at him. There you go right there. Like I said, these short trips work out. It's 314, 965. And I was right there when I picked him up. I was like maybe not even a mile away. I was right around the corner. Like I said, I'm in Tempe. So I swung around, picked him up real quick. 314. I went three miles, maybe three and a half miles for 965. And that one that I went 12 miles for $10. Like I said, I can get $10 off of going three miles. I don't need to go 12 miles to get 10 bucks. That's why I like these little short trips, man. It's like, I'll be killing these little short ass trips. 
it just looked like it was surging a second ago it ain't surging now but whatever i'm not messing with they ass anyways but yeah that that's good that's good right there like i said seven minutes almost eight minutes nine dollars that was good i like little short trips like that like i said and that one here that was you know probably about five miles total for fourteen dollars because like i said dude slid me something so that was fourteen dollars for like five miles i don't want to go you know like i said that only uber trip that that kicked my butt was that that whack-ass 12 mile trip for 10 bucks irritates me irritates me when, when that shit happened because i know i can do short trips all day and make good money so like i said if i went 12 miles with this just think that's that's times three that would have been 21 dollars for 12 miles it would have been times three it would have been 21 dollars 12 miles or whatever like that or maybe times four let's say times four that would have been 28 dollars instead i got ten dollars for going 12 miles i could have did four of these and i could have made 28 instead of getting 10. i'm 18 dollars in a hole screwing around with them long ass trips like that that's why i don't mess with them long trips and i know a lot of people go well you ain't gonna get them back to back you're right i also not wasting my time either so look at that 48 miles six trips i don't know how much was i online for this week 13 hours of driving 611 yeah it's not too bad 611 13 hours eh, i could do better than that i think i could do better than that so i because in 13 hours i should be easily at like i don't know close to six seven hundred i mean seven eight hundred dollars i'm at six eleven i should be at like eight hundred almost so i don't know we'll figure it out we'll figure it out and lift so far is losing 77 dollars on me cherry picking haha <laughs> that's what they get suckers yeah it was going nuts for a while so i didn't have time to do a video i mean i was just plucking all these little short ass rods i'm up to four tips and look at this, I mean, I was plucking all these little short rides like crazy. That's nuts, I was just hitting them all up. And I mean, they were they were easy rides like this shit. I wasn't going nowhere. People were just standing outside and I was like, okay, it says zero miles to get to them. I mean, I'm just grabbing people running down the street. It was crazy like that. And I just took this guy, he was right over here by Mill Avenue. So I was by Mill again. Like I said, I'm just sitting by Mill pretty much zero miles to get the people even like a quarter of a mile to get the people and i'm just taking them everything's like two dollars three dollars a mile so i got my lux back on right now i mean i've been driving what this so far i've got almost 15 hours of driving like 14 and a half hours i've made like 637 so i'm gonna try to make at least a grand in 24 hours i'm gonna see if i can do 24 hours and make a thousand bucks i'm gonna try that and so yeah, and that's what I've been doing. I've been online scouting for like four hours today. Here's another little quick ride. You know, that was a dollar right there. Picked a guy from work, took him up uh, the highway. He was in Tempe. Uh, I was a little, here's another one right around the corner. I was like, holy shit. There's like, nobody was going anywhere. They were just all doing these little short trips. I'm just standing places, just picking people up. So now I'm headed back to where I was. I got Lux on right now. So I'm not getting a ride so because I, I have Lux turned on to make sure nobody sends me no shit. They got, you know, up in Scottsdale, they got a little surge going up there. I'm not trying to get up to Scottsdale. I'm exactly where I want to be. So I'm going to turn my app back on. Uh, here we go. Let's see. Like I said, I it was just crazy busy. I didn't even have time to record. It was just like bam, 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 bam. So here we go. I'm, I'm back. Now I'm back by Mill Avenue. Where are we going? Where are we going? Up to Miller? No, I'm not going up there. Nope, too far. I'm not going up there. I'm only wanting to do like one or two miles. Now I got my 250 bonus. That's what I'm talking about. So see, they tried to give me a ride real quick with no fucking bonus, and now I got a ride with a bonus. See, that's what you do right there. Oh, shit, no. Hell no, I'm not, no, nah, doubt it. Fuck that shit. Seven miles away for a seven mile ride for, for like 12, 13 dollars. Yeah, whatever. Shit. I'm right where I want to be. I'm looking for one, two miles. $13 for that? Nope. Sorry. I'm right where I want to be. I'm exactly where I want. So give me a mile, two miles, something like that. That's what I'm talking about. I want something like that. I don't want these long ass fucking nature hikes. Give me some short shit 
so I can get my money real quick. I'm still in the area, shoot back, get the money again. Like I said, this is what I do. Shoot around the corner, pick up her from the sun bar, drop her off probably right down the street. I'm still in the surge area. Like I said, I'd rather do $5 for like a mile or two miles. I'm not doing a dollar a mile. I can do like three, four, five dollars a mile if I just stay right where I am and just keep plucking people and dropping people off. So that, that's my little goal right there. And I can bust out $45, $50 an hour doing that shit if I get tips and surge put together. So let me go pick this lady up real quick. Hurry up, drop her ass off. Do this shit all over again. This is how we make $45, $50 an hour. I'm really trying to record. So I just dropped her off, you know, it was like 0.9. So as soon as I dropped her off, I get another ride exactly where she is back at Sun Bar again. So I gotta go pick them up for four bucks. So basically I'm making eight bucks in like a few miles. Like that hers was just like, I was already there about a mile. So we'll call hers about a good mile and a half, two miles. And that was four bucks, hopefully she tips. And then this one's the same one, real close. Shoot there, pick them up, drop them off. This is how I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to stay in this area tonight. And the funny thing is, is that as I was driving her to drop her off, they tried to send me an $11, 11 mile trip. It was $11 for 11 miles. And that was with the 250 surge on it. And I was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> and I was kind of explaining to her, Alexa, why I, she was like, oh, you made me feel so much better. Cause I take a lot of short trips and I feel so bad for the drivers because all the drivers tell me that they would rather have long trips. I'm like, well, most drivers don't like short trips. I like short trips because if I do a trip for one mile and I get $3 plus a $3 tip, that's $6 a mile I'm getting. Where if I do a long trip for 10 miles, I'm not getting $60 for that. So you gotta look at, you know, the shorter trips or the higher dollar per miles, they real quick take no time at all. You can just bang around and get them in, get them out. I'm headed to go pick up Jackson real quick, same thing. As soon as I pick them up, I'm gonna try to get right back to Mill Avenue, pick up somebody else. If I could bang out 10, 15 of these trips within the next, I don't know, two hours, that, that could be $70 in, in a couple of hours of driving and just doing short trips, just $70. And I might go, you know, 20, 30 miles to make that money. So 20, 30 miles of driving, $70. I think I can do it, I could do it. Instead of going 20 miles to make $20, it's like sometimes you gotta do it a little different to get, to get different results, you gotta do things a little bit differently. And that's the way I say it. You gotta do things a little different to get ahead. Yeah, so I just dropped Jackson off. That was pretty quick. That was his ride right there. So like I said, that was literally right around the corner. Dropped him off super quick. And I'm still by Tempe. I'm like right up the road, three miles up. So I'm gonna go back. If I can get a ride before I get there, that'll be perfect. They're not surging right now. So, and that was a ride before that. Look at that, 512, 4.78 miles. Where we at, where we at? Let's take it, all right, let's take it. I'll do that. Like I said, these trips are all like right around the corner and they're all in the same area. And that's why I like them, you know? You just get down here, you start plucking rides, you're getting $5 for so not even driving a mile. Literally, you're, you're getting five bucks and you ain't even driving a mile. It's crazy, but that's how you gotta do it. Cause imagine, like that one trip I just had, it was $5 for like 0.9, something like that. And I was already right there. So if you do that $5 for a mile, in 10 miles, you'll make 50 bucks in 10 miles. The app right now is only paying you $6 to $8 for 10 miles. But if I keep doing it the way I'm doing it, I can make $50 in 10 miles. So you can make $50 or you can make $8. That's a $42 difference right there. A $42 difference, if you do this all the time, every 10 rides, I can make an extra $42 every 10 rides. And that's only if I keep getting rides like that though. You need a 250 bonus, you need to be a short ride. You can get, you know, $5 for a mile. And you know, not a lot of people understand why I do it the way I do it. I do it like that because of volume low low miles and high volume of rides that's the trick i don't want to do high miles and high volume because that drinks a lot of gasoline if you're doing high volume high miles you're going through a lot of gas i'm still at three quarters of a tank right now three i've been out all night i'm at three quarters of a tank of gas and i'm well i'm at about 130 dollars so that means 
If I do 130 times four, that's $520 I make off this tank of gas I got, $520. That's crazy. $520 off of one tank of gas. And like I said, I'm only getting about, because I put the big ass tires on back, I'm getting about 350 miles now to a tank, about 350 to 370. So I'm making almost $2 a mile, close to about $1.52 a mile. And that's with dead miles and every fucking thing involved. I don't know what the hell just happened over here, but they ain't got no motherfucking stoplights over here. This is the craziest shit. Damn, did somebody hit a motherfucking transformer or something? I don't, oh, they got the trans, they, oh shit, somebody hit a transformer over there. I don't know, that was crazy. It ain't no motherfucking light. I just drove like a mile and all the lights are black. It's like the, the city is blacked out back there. Whatever the case may be, I don't know. But I just told you why I drive the way I drive. I'm headed to go pick up Gerald real quick. Drop Gerald off. And let's keep this shit going. It's only 2 o'clock. I'm going to go till 5. I'm going to see if I can do this shit till 5 o'clock in the morning. If the rides are out there. If not, I'll just call it good and take my ass home. So I just dropped Gerald off. So I hurry up and turned on. As soon as he got out, I turned on Lux. Because I got some bonuses right below me. Like I said, I brought him over here. Uh, that was a quick ride, 593, you know, almost four miles right there. Plus with his, so it was about probably a dollar a mile. I would say it was roughly about a dollar a mile, about six miles, six bucks. But yeah, I'm just by a, a surging area right now. It's just beneath me. I wish I could go back by Tempe, but man, cause that's where all the good rides are, Tempe. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shoot south a little bit. As soon as I get south, pick up the surge, head back towards Tempe. Because I don't wanna go too far in any other direction. Ah, remind me later. That's, that's my thing be beeping because it be trying to remind me to take a break. My, yes, my car tells me to take a break. It says, would you like to stop? Would you like to go get something to eat, something to drink? It keeps asking you questions like that all the damn time. So you gotta just say, remind me later. Because it, every once in a while, I do like that reminder because it kind of snaps me back to reality. Like, hey, man, you've been driving for like, you know, an hour and a half, two hours. You probably need to go grab you something to eat, something to drink real quick. But let me see if I can hurry up and head south real quick, pick up this surge. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Watch this. get up i like this little car man it's just fun it's like having a it's like having your personal roller coaster it's pretty cool it's pretty cool all right so let's see all right i'm probably i'm not far south enough yet still got a little bit to go even though this is university i got a little bit to go to get to get south so yeah let me Man, they screwing with me now. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to the west. I'm not going south, I'm going west. This way I can catch the surge like this way. Cause they gonna keep pushing the surge out further and further the closer I get to it. I saw how they were doing it as I was going south. They kind of made it a little, they darkened it up. I was getting too close to it so they darkened it up and I was like, all right, you little slick motherfuckers. I see what y'all doing. But. Here we are, I'm at the $2 now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go back in. It's time to do it, it's time to do it. Let's see details, there we go. All right, let's see if I can get me another short ride real quick. Some under five miles, under five miles, let's do it. Nope, not doing it. Fuck that shit. I, I want under five, not doing that. Like I said, I didn't come way the fuck over here to go back to where I just came from. Fuck that shit. Give me something that's under five miles and I'll do it. Six. 7.59. Six miles. Nope, I could do better than that. Fuck that. I'm not doing it. Like I said, give me some under five. They getting there, they getting closer, but just, I don't know, man. They, they fucking with me right now. Definitely hell no. Shit. 
Like I said, because everybody's in this area is popping. Oh, then they took the surge away from me. Now they really got a fucking, they gonna have hell now. Shit, no. Y'all really got hell. All right, let's go back to Lux real quick. So if they gonna do some shit like that, I'm sitting on Lux. I'm not. Yeah, see details, Lux. Yeah, I'll take that real quick. Cause it ain't nowhere. It's just like a little quick hop up the road. Fuck it. I go pick up. No, I'm not doing that. Cause right now I just don't feel like doing that kind of ride right now. I don't want that ride. Yeah, cause the thing is, and like I said, man, it, it, it's kind of hard doing rides at night because they don't want to give you the right amount of money for shit. So you got to get rid of a lot of shit. That was about a dollar a mile. I just don't really feel like doing that shit right now. Cause I mean, I could have got better than that with one of them other rides I just had. So I'm like, fuck it, kick all that shit out. They can come back better. They throw me a surge, we'll talk. No surge, I'm not doing shit. I got it on Lux right now. Let's see what Lux is gonna do. Let's go over to Uber. Turn Uber back on, cause maybe Uber has something going on over here. Maybe not. Cause all these motherfuckers are giving me some sh shit rides right now. Like I said, if, if they ain't giving me no good rides, I'm like, fuck it, I'm, I'm getting rid of this shit. I don't do no, I don't do shit rides. Like I said, it would be nice to just keep all my rides short for right now. But without that, they should have left that surge on that one ride for 398. If I had that 250 surge, that would have been six dollars, and I would have took that ride. But they took my surge away, so I'm like, fuck it, you know, it's, you gotta teach the algorithm you don't play that shit. Because, like I said, the summer months are too slow to be to be really focusing on one dollar rides all the time. Taking one here or there, that's cool, but if they keep setting you up with that shit, they gonna think you accept that shit, and that's not how I roll. So it's like, I've already done enough dollar a mile rides for the night, you gotta start setting me up better than that, this is too late for that shit. So, you know, it's not a lot of drivers out in this area. If you want to get people home, let's do this shit. Let's do that. Oh, man, another driver match. Let's do that one instead. Ha! That was even better. All right, there we go. Let's go over here and turn off this shit real quick because they ain't giving me shit over here. All right, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Oh, fuck it, let's let it just sit there. So I'm headed to go pick up Sean. Like I said, this is 780, so it's, it's better than what I was getting with everything else. That's why I turn both apps on, run both apps, see what money is out there, because it might be something good sitting on it. If Lyft don't give you good shit, turn it on Uber, see if Uber give you some good shit. That's just how I roll. I'll hit y'all back in a second. Now, the coolest thing about that trip is that it was $7.60, but it had that boost. The boost is $4.50. That was at $28, it went up to $38.60. So they added more money because I got that boost on there. Let me see if I can open this up to see if they got the $4.50 boost in there. Well, the promo was $2.50, so I guess it was $2.50. I thought it was $4.50. Eh, whatever, motherfucker, whatever. They, they got me for some money, they got me for some money. But yeah, but they put that in there. So I got that boost in there too. So that made a little bit, a little difference right there, so. Hopefully, I'm going to open this up and see what it says in there. Because I want to see exactly how they got this thing broken down. All right, so it's 530 and they put the 250 on it to make it 780. All right, bet, bet. But I could have swore it was like a bigger boost on here. Oh, it was 250 boost. That's what it was, a 250 boost, not a... All right, because it was 450 earlier, so it's 250 now. That makes sense. It's cool, it's cool. Well, I'm going to go back to lift real quick because... I'm trying to get some shit done on Lyft because they got $185 in bonuses over the weekend. And I'm 14 out of 50 rides. All right, let's see if I can get my ass back over here and pick up a surge. Because if I can get back over there and pick up a surge or whatever, then I'll be good. So I got to go north. Ah, oh, man. I'm trying to think how I'm going to get there quicker. You know what I'm just gonna go I'm gonna go west right now this will be easier just to go west because right now yeah yeah because I can't that's taking the 101 I can't take the 101 eh, I gotta go west down real so loud I can get there okay so I'm still in the boost zone right now hopefully uber will send me something while I'm on my way 
but if they don't, it's cool. Just let me go up in here. I'm gonna open up lift again. See how close I am to this damn surge area. Probably not close at all. I'm um, just a cool, cool. Next light, I could just make a left and I'll be right in it. Bam, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, so I'll make the left right here at this light. Drop down into the surge. Turn it back on real quick. What are they trying to send me over here? Probably some some bullshit. Cause they ain't, cause Uber ain't really doing much. Like I said, that last little trip was cool. I needed that. That was cool. It was a little boost or whatever. But I can do better. I can do better than that. What was that? 927 for what? Nah, that's too many. That's six miles away. I don't know. Six miles to drop somebody off? I don't think so. I'm looking for something like under five miles. I like that under five mile shit. So I'm almost in their little zone right now. 927. Oh, I'm cool on that shit. Nope, nope. That's not what we doing. That's not what we doing. So hold up. I'm trying to I'm trying to see if I'm on Lux or what. Like what am I doing right now? Okay. I can head out this way. I'm turning corners and shit like that so I can't, you know, mess with this damn app. Okay, let's go back to regular rides. Yep. So far, nothing. I have nothing right now. Nothing. See that shit? Fuck them. Let's go online. Because we're going to start declining everything now. They don't piss me off. Let's decline everything. Let's go. $31 for that shit? Nope. Doubt it. Doubt it. What's that? That for two miles? Let's go. Fuck it. Let's do it. Oh shit. I done already went past the dude. Oh fuck that. My bad. Cancel. I done already went past you, brother. My bad. Yeah, if I, if I pass you, I just, I can't do that U-turn shit. I'm cool. I appreciate the effort, though. But, yeah, I'm not, nah, when I'm when I'm flowing, nah, I'm not stopping and turning around. That's too much, too much. Uber's in there trying to send me $31 rides to go, like, fucking 100,000 miles away and shit. I'm not doing all that. It's like, nope, not even worth it. Not to me, it's not. So, let's see. Yeah, and they probably end up taking that away anyways. Because like I said, I'm sitting right on top of the surge, basically. They always do that shit. They'll put you right next to it, making sure you don't get it. What if? And that's the thing, it's ironic. Damn. Man, fuck, I'm, I'm to the north of it, my bad. Cancel that shit too, I don't want that ride. Cause I can't, cause I'm, I'm not you turning around to pick this shit up, I'm just not doing that tonight, man. I'm just not doing that. They gotta do better than that, they gotta give me some fucking surge. If you gave me some surge, I'd do some U-turns. But without no fucking surge, I'm not doing no U-turns, fuck that, I'm going straight. These motherfuckers don't even tip anyways, shit. Like, if I ain't got no surge, no U-turn. That's the way I do. No surge, no U-turn. I keep this shit moving. Let's turn Uber off real quick, because Uber acting nutty right now. Uber trying to send me on a fucking nature hike in the middle of the night. It's like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. So, yeah. Now I'm in the surge now. See, they should have gave me the surge at the light. Had they gave me the surge at the light, I would have went back and picked that motherfucker up. But nope. It was like, we gonna hold this little two bucks away from you. Well, you guy gotta hang out now. Sorry about that. You know, I know I be canceling motherfuckers left and right. But that's the thing though, it's like, I don't wanna cancel them. I would really like to give them a ride, but with the offers, nah. Especially when there's no surge involved. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Nope, nope. Like it'll be another driver in the area anyways, and most of these drivers they take it. Or what's what Lyft should do is say, well, we know what this dude is up to. How about we just, you know, 
if he wants that ride, give him that ride now, because he's got a surge now. But instead of them doing that shit, they just let me kind of cruise around. I'm over here about Jack in the Box. I'm gonna park over here real quick. Yeah. All right, so I'm right here about Jack in the Box. I'm gonna park my ass right here. Cool, cool. All right, I'm gonna chill right here for a second. See what they send me. Lip is kind of mad right now. That's why they ain't sending me shit, probably. And we ain't gonna send you nothing because you keep canceling people. Well, y'all yeah, keep taking the goddamn surge. Stop taking the surge away and I'll stop canceling people. I mean, that's that's the trade-off right there. That's the trade-off. You don't screw with me, I don't screw with you. Trade-off. But. Let's see something real quick. Yeah. That's the one bad trip of the night. Man, that kind of irritates me right there. That 1043, because I could have did two trips for like seven, eight bucks a piece. Because here's the trip right here. Nine minutes, 780. Nine minutes, 783.6 miles. Now, here's this one here. 1043 for 21 minutes, 12 miles. I could have did two of these 780s and made $15. I could have been at $15 going, what, eight miles. $15 going eight miles. Instead, I did this one crap 1043 trip for 12 and a half miles irritates me i don't like that man but it, i mean it got me to where i had to get to it brought me back to tempe cool i appreciate that but it's just it's not a smart trip it's not a smart trip 12 and a half miles for 10 43 21 minutes when i could do that you know 15 dollars in that time you got to do more trips you got to do short trips get them out the way knock them out use your time wisely did i just close uber hold up nope i didn't close uber yet Nah, we'll see what they send me. Because that $31 for that 39 miles or whatever they was trying to send, uh, see that? It's too much. They could do better than that. They could do better than that. Let me make sure I'm not sitting on... Yep, I'm not on Lux right now. Well, that's pretty good. What's Uber talking about? Oh, what I mean to hit that. No. Why did I hit this damn trip? Hey, that's not a bad trip, actually. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's close out of that shit. All right. I made a mistake and hit that shit and it actually came out pretty good. Let's go, Carter. Shit. That's about $2 a mile. Let's go. Sometimes mistakes actually come out to be pretty good. Because <laughs> I was just touching the screen and I didn't really know what I was hitting. And I was like, Ugh. I couldn't see the numbers on it, but the numbers actually came out to be okay. It was a decent trip for the money. So let's cruise over here real quick. Pick this little kid up. Kid Carter. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, where are we at? Alberta, okay, cool. Oh, he ain't too far from me. All right, let me go do this trip real quick, and I'll hit y'all back. So that trip was a quick eight bucks. Like I said, we had to go try to pick one of his buddies up on the way. His buddy didn't answer the phone, so we just kept fucking going. <laughs> Look at that, 18 minutes. See, that one, the other one was 780. It was nine minutes, 3.6 miles. And look at that one. That one was 16 minutes. Because we had to go fucking wait on his buddy. But his buddy never got up. And that's why I don't like, I don't like stops. Like I said, it took 16 minutes for $8. When I could did, you know, $7.80 for 9 minutes. I don't like trips like that. That's why I always decline trips that got stops. Because we went to go pick his buddy up. His buddy didn't answer the phone. So we had to come around. It wasn't that far of a distance. But it was the time that we had to sit there and wait to see if his buddy would answer the phone and he didn't. That's what irritated me right there. So whenever I get trips that says multiple stops, I decline that shit immediately. I took that one 
because thinking it was gonna be something real quick and end up being exactly how I think it shit goes. It multiple stops never work out well. I just don't like them. Hopefully, dude tips me. But if you don't tip me, you know what? That, that was some wrong shit right there. Cause I sat there and waited for his buddy, and I didn't get shit much, like 22 extra cents for sitting there waiting on his damn buddy. Shit's nuts. It's like I don't like that, man. It's like don't don't do multiple stops. Because it never works out for anybody involved. People take their time. They screw around. They do shit. I don't like that, man. I don't like that at all. So let me see what's on lift right now. Uh, okay, whatever, dude. All right, so I'm inside of here. I'm in the bubble right now. Let me go turn off some motherfucking Uber. Because Uber done pissed me off with that multiple stop shit. They shouldn't have sent me that at no fucking three o'clock in the morning to begin with. I shouldn't have took it. Definitely not. Definitely not. Not at this time in the morning. Not going up there. Plus, I'm still in the bonus zone right now. Shit. I'm going to sit here and... Definitely not. I'm going to sit over here at this gas station right here. Because like I said, I'm not taking no motherfucking nature hikes at this time in the night. And I know a lot of people are trying to get rides because they probably been getting canceled all night long because nobody wants to take these long ass rides to where they got to go. But I'm not that one either. Sorry, not doing it, not doing it. So I'm gonna sit here and chill. I got me a fudge round. I'm gonna eat my little fudge round and wait till my next ride hits. They keep sending these damn nature hikes. I'm like, nah, uh-uh. Not this time of night. And, it's, and the thing is, even if I took off, it would probably be like an airport run back. But I'm I'm right by my house, basically. So I'm not too far from home. I could do another short ride by home. I could do something to the airport. But if I was to go far away, man, that's a lot of gas coming back. You know, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. I ain't got time for that shit. Nope. I haven't been out many hours. I just kind of been like putzing around all night. But 14 trips is not bad for slow Friday. 14 trips plus I did some on Uber. Not bad. Because I'm really going to kick their ass tomorrow and Sunday to hit both of these double bonuses. And Uber better hope that I don't fuck with them tomorrow. Uber is just slow. I just, I'm not feeling Uber anyways. They slow as hell. I'm definitely not going to hit a bonus on Uber. They're way too slow for a bonus. But Lyft, yeah, they they probably gonna end up getting hit up for these bonuses this weekend. I said one hundred eighty five dollars. Let's see what we can do. I'm still downtown Tempe. I took a break, came back out. You know, I got a little trip that was you know a dollar six there. I mean one point six miles there for four bucks. Another one was three miles, for four. But like I said, everybody's and this guy he was a musician. The four ninety one he was actually a musician. And he was like, man, I got tips all night long. So he took care of me with tips, and I appreciate that. Because like I said, I was, I was picking him up from a bar, drove him home. It was $4.91 for three miles, and he tipped me out. I was like, perfect, man. I appreciate that shit. He says, man, I'm, I, he says, every time I get a driver, you know, I tip in cash. I like to tip in cash. I was like, do I appreciate that. He was like, do I'm a musician. They tip me in cash all night long. I'm like. And he said his buddies don't like to tip. He was like, dude, I love to tip. And I was like, that's what I'm talking about. I said, I even tip people when I'm getting gas, when I'm getting oil changes, I tip people. But that's some of us are just like that. We just like to take care of people, keep passing that energy or whatever. So that was that. And like I said, all I did was for yeah, Uber. Yeah, I only made like 53 bucks on Uber, but I only did like seven trips. I was like sporadically just running it, seeing what was online or whatever like that. Well, I was online for about almost four hours just seeing what was out there scouting rides and only took seven trips just kind of you know that you know how i do when i'm scouting rides over here i've been online what for about six hours like i said i was off and on 100 bucks i was just seeing what was out there my weekly breakdown i've done about 15 hours 665 yeah 15 and a half hours 665 not bad let me see something. 665, 15 and a half. Let's try something real quick. 665 divided by 15.5. $42 an hour. All right, not bad. 42 bucks an hour. I can get that number up because I need to hit these bonuses 
So I can actually do something. Lyft, so far they're only losing $48 on me because I'm just, you know, cherry picking like crazy. They're only $48 in the hole. They could be up. But because they, they keep screwing with me, I don't know. They better figure something out because I'm, I'm not playing this game with them people. I'm not playing this game with them. So passengers pay six seventy four. I took five ninety of that, which left about what looks like a hundred and twenty dollars. What is that? You know what? Fuck no! I'm not going there. No, no. They could do better than that. This is fucking ten. It's like ten seventy nine. Man, hell no! Not for that. That's not even a dollar a mile, and that's going to the airport, and I got a 225 bonus. Man, fuck. Now, it's too early in the morning for that nonsense. They can do better than that. But, like I said, I don't mind taking people to the... Because I am I would actually, if I was far away, I would use that airport ride to get home. But I'm already home already. Okay. Uh, six and four, that's going the other way. No, nah, I'm still not doing it. That's picking up somebody from the hospital. I'm not doing that shit. No, not at this time. It's, it's 4.30 in the morning. I'm just not doing that. Because they need to give me something that's like five miles total. All this shit they trying to throw me right now for 10 miles, 12 miles and all that. I'm not doing all that shit. They know how I drive. So, and especially you, you trying to get me to go do all these 10, 12 miles and 10 miles for 10 bucks. No, nah, not when I'm sitting on the 225 bonus. You got to come better than that. So the best thing they could do is to give me a short trip, something like about five miles, so they can give me seven dollars for like you know three, four miles or something like that. But yeah, because like I said, I would be taking these airports, but I'm already by home. Like I live by where it says Contempo Tempe. I live by there, so I'm almost home anyways. Going to the airport is like taking me actually farther from where I am. I'm closer to home now, being by ASU. So. I'm not doing no airport runs for less than $15 at this time. Plus, with a bonus, yeah, not doing it. They can, they can try to find another driver for that shit. And it's blowing up in Phoenix. I haven't done a Phoenix route all night. I've been in Tempe all night long. It's in all these little short hops and all these little short rides. No, doubt it. Yeah, now I got a $3 bonus now. They just going to keep advancing that bonus up higher and higher but i'm not touching shit they gotta pay me to leave my spot like i said i'm sitting here chilling i'm not leaving until they pay me to leave because i'm like all these 12 miles and 10 miles and 11 miles and it's at a dollar a mile while i'm sitting on the bonus it ain't worth it to me like i said if there's another driver out let them drivers take it look at that six miles for that oh that's way up in sky Scottsdale. Eee. I don't know if I want to go to Scottsdale tonight. Uh, I'm not going up there. And they were only a few feet away from me, wherever they are. Like 400 something feet from me. They're somewhere around here. But that's just too far of a trip. I can't go up to Scottsdale. Nah. Nine bucks, right? Because that's taking me way far away from home. Then I got to come all the way back. So I know that sucks 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 but that's just like let's see what we got there we go that's what i'm talking about something like that is cool let me go up here and get him and come back see that see those are the kind of trips i'll be talking about because they be messing with me all the time trying to give me these one dollar a mile trips and and for a dollar a mile i can't really do nothing with a dollar a mile at this time of night you got to give me something better. So they gave me about four miles. Looks like about six bucks probably, something like that. I could work with that. Like I said, hopefully I get a tip or something like that. If they give me a tip, then I actually, you know, do a little bit better. But the fact that I've been doing a lot of lift trips and I've only gotten like, you know, I've gotten a few cash tips, but mainly nobody's tipping an app. And that kind of irritates me because this is a nice car and I'm putting it on this lower platform and these people don't even tip a nice car on a lower platform and that's kind of like why I don't care about picking people up I really don't care I'm doing the shit how I want to do it I'm not picking people up I don't care where they got to go to airport hospital I don't give a shit because the money's not there so if, if the money was there and people was tipping and stuff like this and things were going on I would care a little bit more 
but the fact that they won't let me put my car on the Lux platform, that kind of irritates me a little bit. So I know Lyft don't care. These customers ain't tipping, or if they are tipping and Lyft is just stealing my tips, that's another thing, but people don't care. So I need to start being more like everybody else. I need to stop giving a shit. I need to just start going out, getting this money, fuck these people, fuck these apps, get this money. Because that's how they are to drivers. They're like, fuck these drivers. We're going to steal from them, take their tips, not tip them at all, give them shitty trips. Fuck them. Be like them. And that's how you win the game. You become like your competitors. If they want to be like that, fuck it. We could be like that too. Y'all don't give a shit. We as drivers don't give a shit. That's just how we got to be. And it's not, take, it's not personal. It's business. This is business. If you don't give a shit how we make a living, then we don't give a shit about doing what we need what you need done we just we got to stop giving a shit and we got to really go out and get this money and fuck where you coming from or where you going to if you got to pick up a kid from daycare not my fucking problem because you're not tipping anyways and like i said it's not personal this is business it's business and once we start running like a business we start doing a whole lot better okay it is nice and early now after my little break and everything, I'm out here cruising where I'm at. I unlocked a $2 bonus. I got Lux on right now because I want to make sure I got that bonus. So now I can go back over to Lyft. I just dropped Miss Zola. I'll show you what I, who I just dropped off. I just dropped her off. I was sitting up in Tempe. That was that with the ride bonus right there. I mean, it was pretty easy. I was sitting right by her almost. Bam, picked her up. That was about probably three miles or almost seven bucks. You know, this, like I said, I could do this all day. I could do this all day because I'm not taking no dollar miles when I can make this type of money. So let me go back through here. Let me open up my vehicles again. Doot. All right. Let's go. Let's see what they got for me. Let's see what we got. All right, hopefully they'll give me something good. They don't give me no crappy dollar a mile ride like that. <laughs> yeah, right. Shit, I doubt it. Not this early in the morning. Y'all can kiss my ass on that shit. Give me at least $2 a mile ride, something. I'm not taking that. Give me something different. What else do we got? So they took away my bonus. That's cool. I'm gonna hit it anyways. I'm about to jump back up on the road here, head up. I'll get the bonus again in a second. But I'm not, I'm definitely not taking no shit that's less than a dollar a mile when I'm looking for two to three dollars a mile. I'm not taking that. Like I said, give me my lux back and we'll talk. But if you if you're not giving me lux, this is how I gotta do it. I gotta make this money the way I make it. I don't mess around. So you got a lot of people probably thinking, damn, it's a car in the area. No, it's not. Also, now you just took that away from me. All right, you took my little my little bonus away now you really got to give me some some high dollars for low miles now because i ain't taking shit like i said without a bonus it's, it's a hard it's a hard sell you can't sell me nothing if there's no bonus on there Cause like i said these people ain't even tipping i had four tips and where am i i'm still at four tips 18 rides four tips but i minus two cash tips so let's say six tips so that means 12 people a dozen people that I gave a ride tonight ain't tipped me. A dozen people ain't tipped me. Please. Yeah, like I said, it's a hard sell without a ride bonus. Because they ain't tipping anyway, so I ain't picking nobody up unless I get a ride bonus. And where am I at? All right, let me cruise over here. I'm going to head back up almost near Tempe. You know, I'm going to throw on my Lux real quick just so they don't throw me some random shit while I'm cruising. Like that. Look at that. 1383 for 20 damn miles man they out they man this is the kind of shit that cracks me up they know how i drive they just they just want to see me like decline stuff i swear that's all they want to see me do so let me hurry up and throw on my my vehicle stuff i'm gonna get lux put on real quick so they don't be messing with me there we go now lux is on they can't do nothing bam so now that I got Lux on, I could just cruise up here, get one of these surges or something like that. Cause like I said, I don't, I don't take no crap rides. I'm not doing that. I mean, like I said, 
I've been driving through the night. I went home, took a break, kicked back for a while. I had to do some adjustments. I just did these uh, little rods on the front of my car. They were for, for my spoilers. So I had to go home and adjust those a little bit. Man, they really pulling. Yeah, I think it's, it's time to go home. I'm, I'm going to cut up here to Southern. I'm on baseline right now. I'm going to cut up here to Southern and take my butt home for the day. That's it. Like I said, I got 116 plus about, what, 30 in tips. So that's 146 plus I got money on Uber. So I'm at, what, 146 and let me kick over here real quick. Uber's kind of dragging. 53 it's about 200 bucks. So it's about a $200 day, actually, almost a $200 day, just kind of screwing around, you know, making sure they didn't play me. And I probably only went like maybe, maybe 120 miles. So 120 miles, 200 bucks. It's not bad, not bad. And that's even including the dead miles and everything else I got to deal with. And this car right here just cut me off. So idiotic motherfucker just cut me the fuck off. And we both in the turn lanes. They was in the inside turn. I was in the outside turn. They didn't cut me the fuck off. These people are just that stupid, I swear. They cannot drive. And that's why I don't like driving in the daytime. People wake up out of bed and have no idea how to control a car. They were in the inside left turn lane. I'm in the outside left turn lane. We turned. They turned into the outside left turn lane. Cut me off. Luckily, I was paying attention because if I wasn't paying attention, they would have pushed me into the curb next to me. They would have sideswiped me and knocked me into the curb. People just wake up just driving like maniacs. Yeah, and now look, now they're getting back over in front of me again. These, these people are stupid. They turned into the out, they turned from the inside left to the outside, almost pushed me off the curb, but I just hit brakes and went around the back end of them. So I'm sitting on the back end, and as we go down the street, they move over to get in the left lane. I mean, these people are stupid, stupid. Box of rocks, I'm telling you, dumb as a box of rocks. Yeah, but I'm coming up on Southern right now, so I got Lux turned on. There ain't no surge out. I got 18 out of 50 rides, close to that 20. So I'm gonna head my butt home. Tomorrow I get up, try to knock out about 32 rides to hit that 50. I could do 32. And then Sunday, that leaves me with 20 rides, and that's it. So I got 32 plus 20, that's 52 rides. Oh, I could do that easy. I could, I'm gonna hit this bonus and I think they know it. Hey, today was a very busy Saturday. So I didn't have time to record because Friday was kind of sluggish and slow. So I had a lot of recording, but this is my, let me go down here real quick. This is kind of how Saturday went. I mean, I was out there driving my ass off, 2.43 in 10 hours. So I was online for 10 hours. You know me, cherry picking the hell out of it. I mean, I had a lot of, I did 32 rides, 32 rides on Saturday, all little bitty baby cherry pickers. I did this one big trip because that brought me all the way back to the airport, but that was the only big trip I did all day. That one got me back to the airport. Not too bad, it was a basic lift trip. But for the most part, I just wanted to do a whole bunch of short trips. I ended up hitting that $95 challenge this morning because I did that one little lift ride right there. So my challenge for the week is done. Well, I still got, uh, I gotta do 19 more rides to get another $90. But I've done 24 hours, made a thousand bucks in 24 hours. Not too bad, I'm telling you, it was as hard as hell to do. So there's my part-time hours, 32. You know, 24 hours was actually me driving 92 rides. That's the nuttiest shit I've ever done. 92 rides, it's crazy, crazy. But I gotta cash out. I gotta cash that out before I start tomorrow. You know, I got 102 already on Sunday because I did that one little quick ride just now. Then I got that $95 challenge. So, I don't know. Like I said, Saturday, I wanted to record Saturday. I didn't have time to. It was just crazy, crazy, crazy. I was driving like a madman. I mean, I had, as you can see, I'm going to show you, these are all my little bitty baby trips. <laughs> Look at this. I was getting ride bonuses. I was doing everything. These were all like little baby trips. Nothing major at all. Like I said, I had that one $20 trip. That was it. But all of these little trips, all 32 tips, surges, whatever I could do. I mean, it was little stuff like this I was doing. 
586 for like one mile. I mean, I'm sitting in parking lots, cherry picking from parking lots, getting little bitty baby trips like that. But it was, you know, I had to do it. I had to do it because I needed to bang out all of those rides in 10 hours. And like I said, I probably drove out of those 10 hours. I maybe drove about, I would say seven. So I think in seven hours, I made $243 in seven hours. So a little over $30 an hour, probably like $32, $35 an hour. But that's what I was doing. All these little bitty trips, nothing but just small trips, small trips. And guess what? They tried to send me some Lux trips. I had to kick out about four Lux trips because they were like paying me a goddamn dollar a mile, shit like that. I was like, what? They was paying me a dollar a mile, but I'm doing lift trips and this is what I'm getting right here. Almost $2 a mile. The Lux trips weren't paying shit. I was like, nah, man, I'm cool. I'm cool on that. So I kept kicking out all of those Lux trips. And like I said, these were all my lift trips here. And I mean, it was, it was pretty crazy. Like I said, and that's when I started at like 6.13. Friday, that was my Friday. I ended, you know, after about seven hours of driving, I ended up with that 118. But yeah, it was nuts, nuts. And that's why I was, and I was getting passenger cancels all over the place. But I was doing all these little bitty lift trips, like this little ride bonus trip, I like this. It's 10 bucks for eight miles, that's cool. I mean, Lux was paying basically the same as lift rides, but the only thing, my lift rides were shorter distances. The Lux ride was taking me way too far and it was way too much time involved. So I was like, no, I'm not doing no Lux. Cannot believe two weeks, two weeks it took them to send me a damn Lux ride. And then he sent me like four in a row trying to get me to go 25 miles, 30 miles. I was like, hell no, 30 miles for like $34, like 20 something miles. Let's say 23 miles for like $27. I was like, no, I doubt it, forget that. So. There you go right there. That was pretty much, you know, my Saturday. I still got to finish off Sunday because I got to do this little uh, ride challenge thing right there. Where is it at? Somewhere in here. I don't, I can't find, oh, there it is right here. So I got one out of 20 rides. So I got to finish that. So I'll knock that off today. Get my last 19 rides in, get my 90 bucks, whatever. That's easy. Cause like I said, I just did 32. I could do 19, that ain't nothing. Looks like I'm sitting on a bonus right now, but I guarantee if I take it, they're gonna try to make me go way out the middle of somewhere. So I'm not taking that. I'm calling it good, I'm going home.